Join our Oracle Fusion community today. Subscribe now and hit the bell icon. Hello friends. Welcome to my channel Fusion Action Learning. If you're a first time viewer, subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get latest update from Fusion Action Learning. In today's demo, we are going to cover if there is a business requirement to have the customized authorization process to be assigned while creating a sales order. In Fusion, how to achieve it? I am going to demonstrate part in three steps. So first, we'll pick up the standard flow, how to customize it and assigned against the order type. After that, in second step, we'll see in next video where I will demonstrate you how to create orchestration process flow from the scratch. The third video, we are going to cover how to create pause task and used within the orchestration process and achieve your business requirement. Now, to start the orchestration, so first we have to understand the definition of orchestration. What is the orchestration process? Basically, orchestration is automated sequential process of fulfillment to fulfill an order. Now, in any business, like in EBS, what we have, we have the workflows where we are defining the transaction types and we are associating the workflows. And sometimes business having custom requirement where we are customizing the workflow and achieving to fulfilling the business requirement. Now in Fusion, what we have, we have the orchestration. Now, to create the orchestration and customize, you have to go to the setup and maintenance. Within the setup and maintenance, you have to go to the task list and click on search. Once you search, you have to type manage orchest and click on percent. Once you click on that, you would have the task name called manage orchestration process definitions. Now, you would have the defaulted orchestration available within the system from the Oracle. The best practice is that don't change the existing orchestration processes or the definitions. What you can do, you can copy and you can customize all those orchestrations. Now, you can see that orchestration available in Fusion system start with the DO, so bill only, generic, the DO order fulfillment generic process, and the DO submit sales order process. So what is bill only? So if in your business, you have the items that you are selling to and customers like services, that going to be always be bill only. Now the order fulfillment where you want to have the process pick and ship or the back orders back to back or the drop shipment you can use the DO order fulfillment generic process. Where you want to have the ordering process where you want to fulfill your trade compliance and waiting for trade compliance for the screening, you use the third process. Now, in today's demo, we'll cover if there is a need to have the customized orchestration and the association with the order type, how we can achieve. You can search with the ship 
percent, you would have ship order generic process. If you see ship order generic process, you would have all the steps available. So first step is schedule. Second one is create reservation. Third one is create shipment request. Fourth one is wait for shipment advice. Fifth one, create invoice. And the sixth one is wait for invoice. So all these steps are available and included within the SIP order generic process. So to customize, let's assume your order type going to pick or ship or fulfillment. You use the ship order generic process and customize it. So to customize it, you have to either you can create from a scratch that we are going to cover into upcoming release. So now what I'm going to do, I will just duplicate it. Once I click on duplicate, system automatically create the duplicate. So I clicked on the duplicate. Once I clicked on the duplicate, you can see that it has copied all the process flow from the generic processes. Now, after that, you just remove the copy of, you can add. So always make sure that whenever you are copying the standard sheeted process flows, you must add it the custom from the beginning. Otherwise, system won't allow you to save the processes. Now, let's assume I have copied it. Now, I want to set this specific. So I'm setting up for big ship only. So I have set it up for big ship only. Now you copy. Process display name, you can set it up the same value. Now, process class, SIP order class. If you see from the drop down, you can have a couple of the process classes. So you don't need to change it over here. Change mode, advanced status catalog. So if you want to set the status catalog, you can set it up. Leave it blank. No need to set it up. Effective start date, when you want to start the effectivity of the new orchestration process. So you can set that effectivity date. Now, over here, you can see there are a couple of options. So parent process. So all get copied from the standard process flow. Use flex field attribute. So whenever, so you don't need to enable this while copying the existing business process, existing process flow. You can enable it when you want to customize or you want to extend the orchestration process to achieve your business requirement while creating the post task. Use transactional item attribute that also you can use while achieving the business requirement. If you want to extend the orchestration functionality further, the replan instantly. That replan, if you want to have the replan, if you enable it, the replan instantly, what system does or the orchestration, once the process is finishes, it is start the replan, the next processes. Now, if you scroll down, you would have the step definition and the status conditions. So all these steps copied from the seeded process flow. So you don't need to add it or amend or do the editing at all. So it's simplified way of creating the orchestration. Now, if you click on the status condition, you have a lot of conditions are available over here. Once you copy, you don't need to do anything. You have to just copy your 
process. Now after that, you have to save it. Once you save, you have to go to the action. You have to validate. All these steps are mandatory while defining the custom orchestration process flow. You have to validate. Once validation is done, you have to go again, click on action, and you have to click on release. Make sure you have released your orchestration process, which you have customized. Otherwise, that orchestration process won't be usable. Now, if you see that download generic process flow, so if you want download to review, you can do that. Otherwise, leave it. The orchestration process was released. Now, if you see the status change from new to release, now my custom orchestration process is released and it's ready for use. After that, I have to click on save and close. Now, what is our next step to associate the custom orchestration process to the order time? For that, you have to click on save and close. Once you click on save and close, let me cancel it. Yeah. So already we saved the save and close. Now I clicked on cancel. You have to type manage orchestration process assign. So you have to click on manage orchestration process. Type the task name manage process assignment rules for sales order. Click on search. Once you click on search, you can have that task available for use. You have to click on the manage process assignment rules for sales order. Now over here, you have to click on create new rule. Once you click on create new rule, you can set the rule name. You can set the description. So I'm setting up the rule name test. Definition, I'm leaving blank. Now, I am putting the condition. So you can see the left side, lot of attributes are available. Based on attribute, you can assign the orchestration process while creating the sales order and achieve your business requirement. So I'm setting up order type. So I clicked on order type. Now I am searching. So I have created order type bill only let me search that so i have created earlier bill only order type so i am setting up that if my order type is bill only i am just giving you the demonstration for the illustration purpose only it's not actual order type you can create your order type based on your business requirement and you achieve, you associate the correct orchestration process flow. Now I'm setting up the order type is bill only. And if you want other condition, you can set it up, otherwise leave it. Then what I'm asking system to do for me, assign the process flow. So I'm setting up process name. So what is the process name? So we have defined custom custom and let me search with the yeah. So we have created the process custom do ship order generic process for big ship only so you have to select it over here and now click on okay once you click on okay 
So what I you find over here that if my order time, so while creating the sales order, if I choose in the bill only order type, the process follow will get assigned custom do ship order generic process for pick ship only. Now, after that, you have to click on save and close. You have to activate your rule. After activation of the rule, you have to publish. So let me activate it. So for activation, you have to click on activate. You have to click on save and close. Once you're done, you have to click on publish. Once you click on publish, system prompt you whether you want to continue. You have to select the yes. The dictionary was published successfully. So now the rule is available for use. Now, if you create the sales order and you chosen the bill only order type, it will default the custom archer session process. So this is how you can achieve if you have the business requirement to custom archer session process to assign against the order type. You can achieve it like EBS in Oracle Fusion. Thank you. Thank you for watching my channel Fusion Action Learning. Keep subscribing, keep watching.